YNW Melly was once a promising talent, but then his involvement in a gang and reoccurring legal troubles completely derailed his career trajectory. In 2019, the rapper's followers were stunned by news of his arrest on charges of allegedly murdering his best friends. Fearing the stigma attached to rappers could hinder his chances, fans worried about an unfair trial. Yet a surprising twist emerged offering hope to those who want to see Melly emerge innocent. There's been a lot going on with the YNW Melly trial, so let's dive into it, but before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Recap of YNW Melly's case YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamal Demons, is a rapper who faced a high-profile criminal case involving serious charges. He was accused of committing a double murder involving two members of his own rap collective, YNW. The case garnered significant media attention due to his status as a musician and the nature of the allegations. In October 2018, YNW Melly was charged with two counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of his friends and fellow YNW members, Anthony Williams, also known as YNW Sack Chaser, and Christopher Thomas Jr., also known as YNW Juvie. According to the prosecution's case, Melly and his associate Cortland Henry, also known as YNW Bortland, allegedly carried out these murders. Prosecutors claim that Melly and Henry shot the victims from inside a vehicle driven by Henry. After the victims were shot, the prosecution alleged that they were placed outside the car to make it appear as if the crime had been committed in a drive-by shooting. The case was further complicated by the fact that the prosecution was seeking the death penalty for Melly, which added significant gravity to the proceedings. Reason Behind Committing Murder the alleged connection between money generated from the songs of the YNW Collective and the motive behind the murders of YNW Melly's friends has been a key point in the legal proceedings. According to the prosecution's case, the potential financial gains from the group's music could have played a role in the alleged crimes. Prosecutors argue that there may have been a dispute or agreements within the YNW Collective about how the money generated by their songs should be distributed amongst the members. These financial tensions are cited as a possible motive for YNW Melly and his co-defendant Cortland Henry to allegedly plan and carry out the murders of Anthony and Christopher. The Current Verdict After three days of jury deadlock, the outcome of the hearing was that it ended up being a mistrial on 22nd July 2023. The whole situation was quite a roller coaster. A judge had to step in twice during the deliberations, urging the jury to keep discussing the case. But alas, after the jury returned a third time without reaching a decision, the judge declared a mistrial. Now it's important to note that the mistrial doesn't automatically mean Melly is off the hook. The prosecutors in Broward County, Florida, where the trial took place, made it clear that they plan to retry the case. So it's like a temporary pause in the legal proceedings, but the case is far from over. Why it became a mistrial during the trial, the prosecutors argued that Melly, who is now 24 years old, shot the victims from inside a jeep driven by his associate, Cortland Henry, also known as YNW Bortland. The victims then supposedly got out of the car and fired shots back at it to make it look like a drive-by shooting. Interestingly, Henry is going to face a separate trial. Melly's defense, on the other hand, took a different approach. They focused on Melly's friendship with the victims and highlighted that a murder weapon was never actually found. It's a classic case of contrasting narratives presented in the courtroom. Throughout the trial, Melly himself seemed quite animated. There were moments when he was smiling and even blowing kisses from his seat. It's an intriguing image considering the gravity of the situation he was in. Plea for Bond Right now, YNW Melly is seeking a bond hearing as he awaits a retrial for the double murder charges he's facing. A motion was filed on Tuesday by his legal team, making the case for his release on bond while the legal process unfolds once again. In the motion, it's pointed out that Melly's co-defendant, who is also facing the same serious charges related to the double murder case, was previously granted a bond. This fact is being used to support the argument that Melly too should be considered for bond while he awaits his retrial. By highlighting that his co-defendant has been granted a bond, Melly's legal team aims to emphasize the fairness and consistency that should be applied in his case as well. They are likely asserting that Melly should be entitled to a similar opportunity to await his retrial outside of custody, particularly if there are no significant changes in the circumstances that would warrant different treatment for the co-defendant, a bond hearing if granted would involve a legal process where Melly's defense team presents arguments to the court about why he should be released on bond. So what's next for Melly? The mistrial in YNW Melly's case could actually be seen as a potential positive turn for him, especially when considering the concept of double jeopardy. Double jeopardy is a legal principle that protects individuals from being tried again for the same offense after they have already been acquired or convicted. 
In this case, since the trial ended in a mistrial due to a jury deadlock and not a verdict of guilty or not guilty, the principle of double jeopardy does not apply, and the prosecution has the option to retry the case. The mistrial presents an opportunity for Melly's defense team to reassess their strategy, address any weaknesses in their case, and potentially strengthen their argument for his innocence. This pause allows them to regroup, gather more evidence if necessary, and present a more compelling defense in the next trial. If Melly's defense can present a more compelling case and case doubt on the evidence, it might result in a different outcome in the new trial. The mistrial has given a golden chance to Melly's legal team. Now they just need to fine tune their arguments and present a stronger case. If use this opportunity right, very soon Melly would be once again a free man. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. Tell us what you think down in the comments. Do you think it's really over for Melly or do you think he actually has a chance to be proven innocent and set free? Let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of YNW Melly and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.